are here at Blizzard Warden 7. We are in winner's finals. We got um, Solomon going off against Jibka. I am Falcon, and I'm here joined with C-Drive. And yeah, looks like um, Jibka going to go with the hero. He's been kind of going that recently. And then Solomon going to stick with the tried and tr uh, true Yoshi here. Yeah, Jibka really loves the RNG bullshit of hero. Yep. Similar to Ivan, yep. Jibka hates hero for very similar reasons. <laughs> Because he thinks hero is dumb, he thinks the, ga the game ultimate is has some dumb things about it. <laughs> but uh, unlike Ivan, he's getting results. So he's, showing, <laughs> he's, he's showing that the hero is something to uh, is stupid. Yep. Oh, top deck metal slash baby. Let's go. Get the bounce out. That's definitely gonna help out against uh, against the Yoshi. Uh, yeah, the Yoshi matchup with the eggs, and even the stars on the down B get reflected with bounce. Yeah. The only issue is just the fact that Yoshi has a wall of really good aerial moves. Yep. And, like, his ground moves are also come out pretty fast. So, like, even if he can't use the yep. eggs, it's only a problem if he's uh, if he manages to get Yoshi into disadvantage. Because eggs yep. are one of Yoshi's best ways to sort of make up for it. Mm -hmm. But, as it is, yeah. Yeah. getting mauled by the biggest tail in gaming. Yeah, to add the frame data on Yoshi, definitely better than... Like, his best answer out of shield is pretty much just jab, and that's still, like, yeah. frame, like, six or something. Yeah. So, like, it's not great. <laughs> and that's including the fact that he still has a drop shield, exactly. so... Exactly, so that's super... Yeah, and I don't think there's actually... if As long as Solomon spaces out any of his options, there's really, like, nothing that will actually uh, get hit by. Because, like... The fade away on the nair is enough that it's quite possible that a jabs out of shield wouldn't actually hit in that situation. Yep. Smash. <laughs> uh, we got up to here from Jib Cup Order. That's gonna send Solomon off stage. Uh, I I think like in this situation in this matchup, what you have to do is like prioritize your uh, buffs as hero. Mm -hmm. Because if you give Yoshi room to recover, then uh, he's just going to recover for free. Yeah, exactly. And you don't want to do that. Yeah, like, because, yeah, there's a chance you might top deck something really good. Like, if you see a Kaboom or something and you know you can hit with it, it yeah, sure, because Kaboom's Kaboom. Mm -hmm. And that's all, all great and all. But, like, if you're wasting your time trying to figure out what. Ooh. Wasting your time trying to figure out what move <laughs> um, to select. You just let Yoshi dictate the pace, and that's what we saw in this game. Solomon just dictated the pace. Yeah, that forward smash gonna catch Jibka's landing and then just send him flying off stage. Uh, Solomon gonna take that first game here. We are going to see the switch to Cloud. I will be very surprised if Jibka does not do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's, oh, he's he's oh. committed. He is committed he, to. He's committed to at least this game. I I feel like if he loses this one. I feel like we're probably gonna see the cloud, but yeah, you we, never know. You never know. It hard counters the Oshi matchup on paper. Yep. And it is Jibka's original main, so. Yeah. As it is, I think what I'd want to see more from Jibka is a little bit more side B use in that mid range. Yep. Because uh, it's safe on shield at that distance against Yoshi in particular. Mm -hmm. Um, hey, I think it's safe on shield in general if you space it properly. Um. Ooh, oh, he can. Oh my goodness! I thought he would make it back from that. I thought he would too, but I think there was just a little bit downward momentum from that spike. Even as he was charging that upbeat, he was still gradually moving down, and then boom, he's off the stage. That one was real surprising. Yeah, because he was charging the fully charged upbeat, and like you said, if he got that off, I, there's no doubt in my mind either that he would have made that back. Yeah, it goes higher it than uh, Joker's Arsene recovery. That's yeah. like the highest vertical in the game, if I remember correctly, other yeah. than that. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> bounce! <laughs> it's gonna bounce right back. It's gonna hit the side of uh, Kalos, Kalos' wall here, gonna make a little splash. <laughs> the really unfortunate thing, though, about like the fact that bounce against the eggs is that the eggs will basically just go back in the same direction of the arc. Yep. But like Yoshi's never, almost never gonna be in that same position. Yeah. So it's really just sort of a. The egg, it doesn't worry me. It yeah. me just throws my my body into his face. Mm -hmm. But it's not the sort of like, ha ha, you can't use projectiles because you're going to kill yourself type of thing. Yep. So 
Solomon is still free to use it as a recovery tool. It's just, it's not going to accomplish much with it. And that sizzle nearly uh, took him off the side. Could be out there. Yeah. It's one of those, this is one of those weird ones where, like, you look at it, and it gives you enough time to react to the DI for it, but, like, unless you play a lot of heroes, off like, the top of your head, yeah. you might not remember which what direction you have to DI, but yep. Up Air takes the stock off the top, uh, which is, I guess, not surprising. Solomon's got a lot of rage, and he was at, like, uh, Jacob was at, like, 150-something percent. Yeah. So, catches the double jump. Forder, double forder. <laughs> nice air dodge of Jacob. Yeah. Didn't want to just be part of the highlight reel. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, I feel him there. <laughs> <laughs> you may have beaten me, but you have lost the war. You will forever remain in on anonymity. You will never be on Yeet Smash. <laughs> but, uh... Yep. That forward smash, once again, just punishing the landing from Jimka. Yeah. Taking the game. And, like, I've played the hero into the Yoshi before, against Solomon in particular, and I don't really have much of a hero, but, like, it's one of those characters that, like, you need to be either on point with spacing, yeah. or you're just gonna get mauled every time, and right now what we're seeing is Jimka doesn't seem to be that familiar with the spacing. He's using a little bit too much downbeat in the situation, and I Ooh. would have thought any. Ooh, what? I did, had no idea Jibka even had a Palu, but. I mean, Jibka going Palu here. There is a joke that everybody has a pocket Palu because yeah. all you have to do is just short <laughs> yeah. hop Nair, short hop Nair, into short hop Nair. Yeah. But I've never seen Jibka pull it out, so right. we'll see if this is one of those. Uh, one of those pocket. Yeah, yeah. Palu Tainas, or if it's a. Uh, if it's just short hop Nair, Nair City. It could also be the Jibka's just like, you know what, worst case scenario, I'll just uh, play Cloud in Grand Finals if I get there against Solomon and just beat him there. Yep. Um, but, yeah, as it is right now. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Oh, I'm tired. What the hell? Um, <laughs> as it is right now, uh, it seems to be pretty much a repeat of, like, Hero, except it's now Palutena, so. Yep. And, uh, at the very least, you gotta think that Palutena is a much more well-rounded and kind of versatile character with uh, better um, frame data, in my opinion, and better moves in general. So, I don't know. You gotta think that this might help him out a little bit. Yeah, but there is the problem that, like, Palutena doesn't really have much, like, easy to get just, like, pilot kills. Yeah, exactly. You have to know yep. a lot of your setup, or you have to be willing to make risky plays. Yep. You gotta be willing to exact, go off stage and really get those edge guards to seal the deal on those kills. Like, I assume like explosive flame might be your best bet if you're trying yeah. to like do it, but like even then you have to know a little bit of the intricacies of exploding flame, like yep. how you make it go different distances. Yep. Know your spacing on it because it's super punishable if you exactly. throw it out willy nilly. Like yep. online Palutena is <laughs> speaking to you. You're super punishable when you do it. Don't think you're being all cool. Like honestly. It's, yeah. If, if, yeah, if you throw out the side B and it doesn't hit you, it, there's so much just time to get a punish in. It's got a huge amount of end lag. It's basically, yeah, huge while it's end out, end. you can't do anything, Nothing. and even then, it's still like another like 10 frames after yeah. it's gone. Yeah, exactly. And, oh. Oh, oh Jim uh, was back here. Yeah, back here's the only one that really has that kill power. Yeah. And I think Yoshi did throw out a wolf, but as you guys probably know, the. The back air with Palutena using that shield, it's just gonna power through stuff. Yeah, it's a really good move. Yeah, really good move. Uh, just like Dash Attack 2, having the same property, hitting with the shield, and gonna beat out like, so many attacks. Pretty much every attack, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, Jibka failed to do the Nair frame, but uh, he's getting at least the Raptor bombs. Down throw on the floor there. Although I suppose like Yoshi can probably get out of the Nair frame by just spamming jump. But yeah, probably. Good uh, four tilt to up, to, uh, up air confirm. Or I wonder if it is a confirm. I don't know if that's true or not. This is one of those things where it's just like, no matter how often I've played against Yoshi, <laughs> yeah. there's so many things that I'm just like, is this true? Because I've fallen out of it before, I feel like. And it's yeah. like. It might be one of those things where, like, you know, like, the percent window fades, and it, although it's not true, like, if you're not dodging out of it, you're putting in such a bad spot where you're just going to get hit with it. Yeah, and oh, Solomon going real deep for that. <laughs> windbox. Oh, tries to get the windbox again. 
Almost no getting it. But uh, yeah. Jim, Jim Kenny's a bit of a miracle at this point. He's yeah. like been lapped in percent. He's still a stock behind. Yeah. Like it's definitely possible, but uh, up yep, yeah. up air takes it. It's gonna do it. And, uh, Solomon takes that uh, three zero. Yeah, congratulations to Solomon. He's gonna be moving on to grand finals in Blizzard Morning Seven. I'm Falcon. And I'm Z Drive. And we will be back with more Smash in just a little bit.